care trainers, your YouTube channel for tips, tricks, and training all in the area of caring for children. This is where we help you to start, grow, and succeed as home child care providers. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome. I am Serafia. Hit the subscribe button and also hit the alert button so you will know the next time I upload brand new videos. This week, we're going to be speaking a lot about business. And the first thing I wanted to dive into is, do I need liability insurance? Now, of course, a lot of people are going to come on and they're going to make their own comments. I've been doing this for 20 years. I don't need insurance. Oh, you should get insurance or it's too much or you might find yourself getting overwhelmed. And I promise you, it is not that serious. It's not that deep. I will tell you, yes, you do need to get insurance. Homeowner insurance is not the same thing. And we're going to go through all of it. But I want to talk to you briefly um, on why you need insurance for your business as a home child provider. And I think the best way to do that will be to show you why you need insurance as a home child care provider. All right. So as many of you have known, this video is surfacing everywhere and we are I'm going broken to check it out. The fact that they show no remorse and the ignorant comments that they're making and just, it just hurt and hurt. A mother's devastating display of grief, and tonight we are breaking news about her two-month-old daughter's death. Yeah, the report says Diani Griffin died at her Cleveland daycare. Five on your side investigator Sarah Buttison is live in the newsroom with details, and Sarah, that daycare now shut down. That's right, Frank. This report explains why state regulators suspended the center's license today. It says Diani Griffin died while in the care of Nana's home daycare last week. Her mother told us what happened when she picked up her baby girl. We're going to get to that information in just a minute, but I do want to tell you that inside this report, there is information that says that Diani did die at the daycare last week, as state investigators understand it. It also says that they found, the state investigators, that there was a serious lapses in taking care of the children while Diani was at the daycare last week. We're going to have more information tonight for you at 6. Every time I get my daughter, hey, pretty, how you doing? I look, now I'm talking to her. She's not responding to me at all. I immediately knock on the neighbor, uh, back on the door. And then when she opened the door, I'm asking, I'm screaming, can you help me? This state license suspension order says Diani died while in the care of Nana's home daycare last Tuesday. And that the daycare created a serious risk to the health or safety of the child that resulted in the child's death. Taylor Bush told us she dropped off Diani and her three brothers Tuesday morning. The owner's sister was caring for the kids and noticed the baby was, quote, breathing funny. When Taylor arrived to pick her up, she noticed Diani was unresponsive. She described what happened after Diani was rushed to the hospital. When I got to the hospital, they said about how cold my daughter was. She had been stopped breathing a long time ago. They could not find a pulse for my daughter at all. I begged them, I begged them to keep working on her because they already pronounced her dead. I begged them, I begged them to keep working on my baby because I just couldn't go with the way she was gone. We are still waiting for the official autopsy results tonight. In the meantime, Cleveland police are investigating Diani's death. And as I said before, we are going to have more information on what's next for that investigation tonight. At six and five on your side, investigator Sarah Bonnison. So, before we get started on that one, let me say this we are not going to be a community here at Home Child Care Trainers where we are going to jump to conclusions because it is by the grace of God that we are operating home child care businesses and a child has not died while in our care. Um, and we don't know the whole story. Yes, it sounds like there was neglect. Yes, there sounds like there wasn't a, a lot of training in the era of caring for infants. And that's why I always tell people, I personally don't care for infants because it's such a liability. They're so fragile. And my heart's desire would be that every parent could be at home with their infant until they're at least 
12 months or 18 months, but I do understand that that's not the case for every person. So my heart goes out to Deani and her family. And before we go any further right now, I just want to lift them up in prayer. Father God, right now, we just come to you in the name of Jesus, God. Lord, I ask that you be with Deani's mother and her family. God, give them comfort, give them peace during this time of loss. Lord, we cannot explain why things happen, but I do know that you can give them comfort, Father God. I pray that you give them peace during their time of need. Lord, I pray for the child care provider. I pray for her peace, Father God. I pray for her comfort as well, for we do not know what happened during the time Diani was there, Father God. But I do know that her life was lost and I know that I can only imagine what the child care provider is feeling as well as the mother. So I lift them both up because families were impacted, Father God, on both ends. Let us be a community that lifts everyone up in prayer, Father God, not to seek to tear them down. Lord, we thank you right now for this community as we continue to rally around the family and praying for their daughter, Father God. And she is gone. She's gone, Father God. She's in heaven. And we ask that her mom is able to go through the steps that she needs in grief in order to find that peace. It's not going to happen right now, God, but our prayer is that she's able to get the strength that she needs, the peace that she needs, the healing she needs for her family, for her other children. Lord, we lift all these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. I don't want us to ever be a community where we're just going to be tearing people down. Like I said, we don't know the whole story. I've been in the child care business for 23 years, and I can only imagine if something were to happen while the children are in my care and how people are so quick to jump to conclusions. Like I said, I don't know the sides. I don't know what happened. All I know is a life was lost and you cannot get a child's life back. When it comes to liability insurance and how it ties into the video that I just showed you, you never know. You never know what can happen. And so you have to protect yourself on the business side. This is your business. And so you have to protect yourself on the business side, ensuring that you have the proper insurance. The best place I love to go to get all information in regards to child care business is Tom Copeland's page. Tom Copeland is the nation's leading expert on the business of family child care. And one of the things he mentions in his article, April 4th, 2019, is the importance of business liability insurance. In the comments, uh, in the description and in the first comment, I'm going to pin at the top, I'm going to put his top 10 questions to ask before you purchase family child care, business liability insurance, and the insurance directory. I had insurance and it was like $59 a month. But his article basically states, and I'm going to go through it real quick. And look at this. This is just a picture. You never know. It, this is falling forward. But this child care provider actually has it strapped to the wall. So it doesn't fall forward. But see how simple this little boy is trying to get a toy and just something simple. So even if you're not in child care in your home and you need to baby proof, child proof your home, do you know what to look for when buying a family child care business liability policy, insurance policy? Do you know the difference between per occurrence and aggravated coverage in your policy? What's the difference between an individual policy and a master policy? Not all business liability insurance policies are the same. There can be big differences in what the policies cover from one policy to the next. And this just goes over the top 10 questions. Click on this real quick that he asks or tell you that you need to ask. So make sure you print this out when you are going around shopping for liability insurance. And then he also offers an insurance directory. And here are some people that he recommends. Now, one thing I definitely want to make sure you know is this information that I am sharing with you is based on 
information. Um, I am not a business expert in this area. I'm not a tax person. So I definitely, definitely want to tell you that this is for informational purposes only. Definitely seek your own business lawyer or tax accountant or someone who understands child care homes and child care insurance and child care business. Again, I'm here to share information. I'm not held responsible for the information that I'm giving to you. Make sure you do your own research. And that is with everything when it comes to your business. Business. You have to be mindful of those things. Back to it. He says the importance of li business liability insurance. All family child care providers should purchase professional business liability insurance to protect themselves against the risk of caring, caring for children in their own home. These risks are real. The children in your care can get injured. Parents can sue you for child neglect or failure to adequately supervise their child and so on. Professional business liability insurance can reduce these risks, not eliminate, but reduce these risks so that you can sleep at night and not worry about any of those things. Warning. Homeowners insurance policies will not cover you for accidents and lawsuits related to your business. We strongly recommend that you shop around and get the details of insurance policies from at least three insurance companies. Ask for a copy of the policies and compare the coverage and prices. The cost of insurance policies in general is related to the coverage it offers. A cheaper policy will probably not cover you for as much as more expensive policies. We also recommend that you purchase more coverage rather than less. Ideally, you should have a policy that covers for a million per occurrence and two million aggravated. And that's what I had. And my insurance company was actually awesome because I paid a certain amount up front and then I divided it and I paid $59 every month. The difference, in, and again, I'm in Texas, and it's just different different things they take into place when the, you're getting your insurance policy. The difference in cost between the coverage and the lowest amount of the coverage are probably very little. That's the same thing I just said. The cost of business liability insurance is 100% tax deductible, so whatever you're paying, you also can get it back. Um, for more details, you can also get his book on family um, child care legal and insurance guide. And I definitely tell you it is important for you to have that. One of the things I also want to outline when it comes to insurance is um, I know for sure when I had my daycare center, I made sure I had insurance. Anything can happen. I had a little girl. She was running, doing workout, and she she was running so hard that she hit her lip and bit her lip to the point where she needed stitches. And again, anything can pop up where a parent wants to want to sue you. Now, this particular parent did not want to, but I'm just telling you, you're thinking like nothing can happen. Nothing can happen in a home child care. Anything can happen. It is best that you have yourself covered on both ends because you don't want to have any problems when it comes to that and people think okay i have homeowner's insurance homeowner's insurance doesn't always cover it especially if they don't do not know that you are running a business out of your home so take the time to look into the type of insurance that you can get you want to make sure it has the proper coverage definitely go to tom copeland's website i'm going to provide it in the description as well so that you can understand all the things that you um, can get into as far as liability insurance or business insurance for your home or child care. It is not that difficult. I promise you, I don't want something to happen like what we saw with the child care provider. Now, back to the little girl who lost her life at a home daycare. We have to remember the importance of child care training and good child care training. I'm actually going to do a video sometime this week on the type of questions that you need to ask your child care trainer. There's a lot of child care trainers out there that will, you pay them and they'll just give you a certificate that says you did the training. And if you actually want to be successful in your business, stop doing that or do not do it at all. You are going to have to pay for quality. You're going to have to pay to get what you need. Do not take shortcuts when it comes to your home child care because your home child care ties into children. And again, if something happens to your child, it can go, it, it comes to you, it hits you more than just spiritually, emotionally, it can hit you financially. And if you are a trainer and you're just giving out a CPR card or a first aid card or different types of training, that can tie back to you as well. So for example, the individual, um, Miss Nene's home child care, if 
the mom wants to sue her, she can. And if she wants to sue the trainer who trained her, she can. Um, whether she wins or not, it doesn't matter. It's the fact that she has a right to. And I would not want to be the trainer who has a list of things that you said you trained this individual on. And one of the things in the state of Texas that we always have to get training on is SIDS training, the brain development safe sleep practices and all of these are for a reason and if a child gets injured or harmed and not care under the areas of training it falls back on the child care provider which can also fall back on the trainer so if you're a trainer as well be mindful of that I'm a, a trainer and I take pride in training because I go deep I make sure everyone has what they need as far as training I'm going to have another video posted this week and it has to do with free training that you can go check out don't just click through it if you're wanting to really be successful successful in this business, have a positive impact on your community, on the lives of the children, and make good income, you have to take it serious. So you have to take the trainings, you have to actually go through it, you have to ask questions. I thank God for this community because for the most part, you guys all ask questions and you add to it. So comment below, do you have liability insurance? If not, um, definitely click on the link in another comment uh, question of the day comment below make sure you comment that's how we interact with each other but let me know what are your stories what are some stories out there that you've been involved with I know one of my clients had to go to a training before and she told me that one of the ladies in her training had shared that her close friend had a home child care and a baby was dropped off mom mom and dad or one of them dropped off the baby baby was in a car seat her friend and took the car seat and just put the baby in the crib, which is what you're not allowed to do. But um, she didn't check on the baby until maybe 30 minutes later after she's checking other kids. But she realized the baby was no longer alive. So she was saying that the baby was dropped off to her that way. And because she didn't um, she didn't provide a body scan, which is what I recommend, doesn't matter what age, as you're checking in the children, do a quick body scan from top to bottom, making sure the child's okay. If it's a baby, definitely get the baby out of the car seat, even if the baby is asleep. In the state of Texas, that is a rule that is party minimum standards. Babies cannot stay in car seat. And that is one of the reasons why you want to scan. You want to make sure that you're giving people their children back the way they came. Unfortunate, she didn't check, find this out until 30 minutes later and so I, I want to know some of your stories because sometimes people need to hear them to understand how serious it is to take your business as a home child care provider serious do not let this scare you okay life happens you can get in a car get in a car accident that's why you have car insurance so in your business and and, and working with children you want to make sure you have the proper insurance to protect yourself to protect the families to protect the children um again if you have any questions, let us know. It's one of those serious videos that I really want you to take to heart. All this week, we're going to be covering business topics, LLC or sole proprietary, or how should you file your taxes, and pretty much all of this will become come from Mr. Tom Copeland's website, so definitely subscribe there. Buy his books, all that stuff. He is great wealth of knowledge. He is a lawyer, and he does deal with family and child care businesses on the business aspect of it, so definitely check him out. As always, I appreciate you guys. Like this video, share this video, and make sure you are learning from the videos. See you guys next time.